Welcome back to How It's Made. Later, we look at the acoustic guitar. From the moors of North Africa via flamenco and the blues, it is the beloved instrument that still takes three weeks to make. But first, short and long-sightedness and astigmatism are all due to light not focusing precisely onto the retina. Surgeons can correct this by using a laser to reshape the curvature of the front surface of the eye. The surgeon operates on the eye one at a time. He cleans the eye, the lid and the lashes with antiseptic and administers anaesthetic drops to freeze the eye and lid. He opens the lid wide with a speculum, then rinses the eye with a saline solution. Everything's frozen so the patient doesn't feel a thing. Next are antibiotic drops which prevent infection. Before every operation, the surgeon tests the equipment. He fires the laser on a metal plate to test its energy level. The surgeon administers a few more anaesthetic drops, then inspects the microkeratome the device used to lift a very thin layer from the outer surface of the eye. The patient's cornea is measured using an ultrasonic instrument. The surgeon uses the speculum again to prop the lid open, then begins the operation. The eye is marked with a sterile ink, reference marks to be used later. Next, a metal ring is positioned around the cornea. The ring is attached to a suction pump, so it clings to the eye. Like holding a tomato steady while you slice it, it holds the eye steady while the surgeon cuts the tissue. The surgeon lubricates the eye with sterile water, then mops up the excess water with a small absorbent sponge. Then the microkeratome is slipped into the grooves in the metal suction ring. In a matter of seconds, the device moves across the eye, cutting open a flap of tissue, the same way a carpenter's plane shaves a layer of wood. The surgeon uses a sterile sponge to keep tears from contaminating the cornea. folds back the flap of tissue, exposing the cornea. Then mops up the excess liquid and finally starts up the laser. Meanwhile, a tiny sponge keeps the flap moist. The laser an invisible beam of light fires in 50 pulses per second. Each pulse vaporizes a one quarter micron of corneal tissue. The laser is controlled by a computer program, so it knows exactly how to reshape the cornea to give most patients 20-20 vision. In less than a minute, the laser has done its job. The surgeon removes the sponge and then using the ink marks he made earlier as a reference, folds the flap back to its original position. If the flap isn't precisely where it was before, the patient will have distorted vision. Using a syringe that flushes the area with sterile water, the surgeon carefully smooths the flap. Within 45 seconds, the negative pressure inside the cornea sucks the flap back on. The flap literally seals itself. Antibiotic drops are applied as a preventative measure and the microkeratome is used once again to verify everything is okay before moving on to the other eye. He takes the speculum off, tapes the eye closed, then performs the same operation on the other eye. When that's done, 
the surgeon uses a high-powered microscope to make sure the flaps are wrinkle-free. Finally, the patient wears protective shields overnight for just a week. Thank <laughs> you.